History is being forced to take a back seat to safety in the village of Petakodiak, New Brunswick. The community is saying goodbye to a landmark church. It's White Steeple built in 1879 as the crews now prepare for demolition. CTV's Cami Kepke explains why. There's certainly sadness and sorrow connected with what's happening here this week. The days are numbered for this historic wing of the Petakodiak Baptist Church. Over the next several days, it will be torn down, leaving the church operational, but missing its signature steeple that has towered over the area for nearly 137 years. When the word got out there that it was going to be torn down, um, the community was really upset about it. It was basically heartbreaking because it is a landmark and it's been there for so many years. The problem started with two oil tanks that used to sit here just in front of the church. One rusted through at the bottom at the beginning of June, allowing oil to seep into the soil and structure underneath the church. Roughly 1,400 liters of oil now permeate the ground around the church, directly next to the Petakodiak River. The Provincial Department of Environment is working with the church to make sure the river is safe. There's been monitor wells dug between the church and the river. Uh, that can tell us if oil has made it that far. There's something in the river to catch any oil that actually seeps into the river, but that has not happened yet. Supporting the structure would cost roughly $700,000, while taking it down would be less than half that and gives direct access to the contaminated soil for cleanup. Once the group discovered extensive wood rot in the steeple and bell tower, they voted largely in favor of tearing it down. We're talking about a facility that was built in 1879, so a lot of connections, people's you know, baptisms, weddings, funerals, child dedications all sorts of memories. While the church's makeover may be unwanted, members have managed to salvage some key pieces, including its bell and stained glass windows. Steve, many people are upset about the loss of part of the church, including many of the people who voted for its destruction. Some people I spoke to at the church say this is sad, but rotting wood in the steeple would have caused more problems down the road anyway. They're looking at different options to honor the old church in the future. Steve? Thank you, Cammie. CTV's Cammie Kepke from our newsroom in Moncton tonight.